1999, uh, they are Naval Air Squadron. Uh, the 300 series, uh, they're basically allies that flew with the Royal Air Force during the Second World War. So they'd be Polish, Belgian, Norwegian, Dutch, Yugoslavian, Canadian, well not Canadians, no, uh, all those sort of squadrons. The 400 uh, series, uh, The scenario is a, uh, a convoy in Afghanistan and the tornado is in waiting for somebody to fall into trouble or are, do you, did you tend to be set up in advance when people thought they could get into trouble? Uh, no, uh, the aircraft are generally tasked with specific serials in theatre uh, but they'll provide cover to anyone that needs it in a uh, troops in contact or emergency situation. I notice that one aircraft is actually quite a long way away, apparently losing interest while the other one's Enemy have moved from the vehicles into uh, into the building. The buildings and the, uh, the aircraft have now attacked those buildings to uh, defeat the enemy. Also, that you spoke about is our deep strike weapon, weapon, which has been used in Libya. under his own steam, uh, decided to go ahead and design a single seat fighter uh, before the military even published a requirement. Uh, they eventually did, and it became a specification F-36-34, uh, again known as the Supermarine Type 300. The same airframe. The boats produced Spitfires were uh, manufactured in 1943. to a number of different maintenance units and storage units. It was finally bought by uh, the Bayless Brothers and registered on the British registration as G Bravo Mike Sierra Bravo on the 3rd of May 1978. And then it was fully restored to flying condition. of the windsock, this is the tempo setter. 10G in the cockpits, this is the blade brake. The aileron rolls and the bow rolls for the double cross. Watch the outside two aircraft, they're going to snap roll away. Now watch the middle two aircraft as they actually fly up. And they'll do it again. And if you're in the green stand over there, you'll probably get it right in front of you. There we go. Perfect. But when Miles gets to the top, he's going to bend the loop towards the crowd. 
and then come round over the runway. It's probably going to be about 7G as Miles tightens the team around. This is called the box bend. Now this next one is very, very important. It's a testament to our, our heritage and, almost, and also a tribute to those brave few that fought in the Battle of Britain all those years ago. It speaks for itself, it's the Spitfire Roll. Upside down at the back, blades one, two, and three. Boot full of rudder, it's called Crazy Flying. The extra 324 foot wingspan, but just to show we do big air, going over the top, this is the Whirlpool. And just to prove it's not a fluke, around the corner to do it all over again, here we go.